Are your morning habits contributing to your life or are they contributing to your death? It's a thing, right? I'm wondering what you do first thing in the morning. As soon as you open your eyes and you realize you're back on earth, back in another day, what's the first thing you do? Get really honest with yourself. Because if the first thing you do is pick up the phone, is roll over to your partner, or to rush up and get the kids, or to turn on the TV or the radio or pick up the newspaper, you're contributing to something other than your life. And it can be as simple as 10 to 30 minutes first thing in the morning that you make non-negotiable for you because as soon as you come out of sleep you're coming through brain waves that are so easily programmed and molded like a sponge and manipulated with whatever you decide to feed it first up and if what you decide to feed it is god knows what on your phone or other people's lives on social media or the news or even if it's your partner's good behavior or bad behavior, your kids, good behavior or bad behavior, whatever it is, if you're choosing someone else's needs first thing in the morning to fill your mind with, you're programming your whole day for whatever that is, which means you're programming your whole day for something that's outside of your control. Alternatively, commit, devote yourself to 10 to 30 minutes get up earlier I have a client who works in the mines who starts work at 3 a.m. I tasked him with this and he was like um how and I was like get up earlier so he now gets up at 2 a.m. and he works out and he meditates and he journals and he has had three pay rises and has attracted a beautiful partner so how much do you really want the things that you want so first thing in the morning no phone First thing in the morning, get up and create a ritual for your mind, for your body, for your life. Because otherwise you're going to keep repeating the same day, the same problems, the same patterns over and over and over again until you die. And you might die in 50 years from now, which would suck repeating that every day if it's not exactly wonderful in the way you want it. Or you could die today. You don't know how long you're here for. No one knows. But what I do know for certain is whatever you program your mind with, you program your life with. And so if you want more money, if you want a lot of money, if you want an incredible relationship, if you want to raise your kids without imprinting all of your problems and patterns onto them, because if you're not doing this, you are imprinting all your problems and patterns onto your children and they will be doomed to repeat them. So get up first thing in the morning. Have your phone on flight mode or at least have all the notifications turned off so you're not tempted by the addiction that you have to pick it up and check. If you must use your phone in the morning, the only thing you can use it for is great music with incredible lyrics, not lyrics that are destructive, motivational, inspirational, or educational videos, that feed your mind rather than drain it. Yeah, that's about it. Best not to touch your phone. (laughs) Secondly, move your body. Even if it's going for a walk around the block or a run, that's what I'm doing today because I have a day full of meetings. I got up and I'm running around the block. And then thirdly, set your mind. Set your mind up for the day. So for me, I meditate minimum 10 minutes every single day that's what I do you can journal get all the crap out of your head you don't want to bring into your day and get it out of your body and your mind and onto paper and then you can rip it up burn it whatever you want to do there are so many incredible practices breath work is one that I use if I'm waking up and I'm immediately consumed by challenging thoughts by maybe problems that are happening in life or or that happened yesterday or that might be happening today. 
breath work's fantastic to bring you back to center, but have three things that you do. One, first thing as soon as you open your eyes, whether it's a mantra, whether it's just pulling yourself out of bed like Mel Robbins' five second rule, or whether it's just getting up and walking around the house and making a cup of tea and deciding what you want your day to be about, what you want your life to be about before anyone else comes into play. Then move your body and set your intentions for the day and decide what you're going to be about today. Decide who you're going to be in the world because who you are decides what you create and what you experience because you are creating 95% of your life with your unconscious programs. And so if you're constantly feeding unconscious programs with other people's problems or constantly going over your problems, you're creating more of it. I'm wondering what would happen if you changed the program. And it's as simple as a morning ritual. Get up earlier, get off anything that's contributing to your death rather than your life, move your body, feed your body well, drink water because you're probably dehydrated, and decide what you want your life to be about every single day. I'd love to know what your morning rituals are. Pop them in the comments so that everyone else can get ideas and let me know what they've done for you. And if you are challenged with this, then let me know in the comments as well. You can reach out to me in DMs. Love you guys. Have an epic, epic Monday. It's going to be a great week.